Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm on a remodeling project where I'm going to show you how I'm soundproofing walls without removing drywall. I will be adding another layer of drywall over the existing wall where I'm trying to block some noise going through to the neighbor's house. On this project, I'm using a sound break drywall, which is made for reducing noise. So I will be applying a green glue compound, which reduces the noise significantly to the back of this drywall. Then in the part two of this video, I'll show you how to use the sealant and how you're supposed to hang the drywall, leaving a quarter inch gap at all the seams and any electrical or plumbing penetrations. And if you stick around to the end of the video, Insulation. I'll give you some quick tips on using the green glue products on wood framing before adding drywall. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing and painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification to get alerted whenever I post a new video. Let's get into this video. Well, the first thing I had to do was figure out how I was going to get the sound break drywall that comes in four by 12 foot sheets up to the fifth floor of this oceanfront condominium. So the boom lift comes in real handy. I would have had to cut down the sheets of drywall into six foot pieces and get them up through the elevator otherwise. Okay, so I'll be applying the green glue compound. I cut about a eighth inch or quarter inch size hole on the tube of the green glue. The biggest you wanna go is a three eighth inch. Then you also want to keep the perimeter about two to three inches free of the green glue so you can install the drywall without getting it all over your hands. And there's no specific pattern to putting on the green glue. The manufacturer just calls for one tube per four by eight sheet of drywall. You can use up to three tubes per sheet, but they recommend that's the highest you want to go. I'm doing two tubes on this sound break drywall, which is four foot by 12 feet long. Okay, so that's the first tube. So you can see how far I got with the first tube. They're a little bit bigger than a regular size tube of caulk. So you do have to get the larger caulk gun as well. Also, I just want to mention there is a slight odor with the green glue products and it takes a couple days for that to go away. Um, kind of like paint, you know, it just has an odor. So also to get the maximum, allow 30 days to dry. That should be the maximum soundproofing element that you'll get out of this. So again, I'm just going back and forth. No set pattern that you need to put this on with. Just get it on there. And there it is, ready to get hung. Okay, once the drywall is hung, step two is applying the sealant around the perimeter and any electrical boxes or pipes or anything that has an opening. You just want to fill it real good till it's almost squirting back out at you. So all the factory seams, all the butt joints, the top and corner angles all need to be filled with the sealant. Once the sealant is put on, you want to allow 48 hours and then you finish the drywall as usual. I do have some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way for applying the sealant. So you might want to check this video out. I'll be uploading it in a day or two. I'm still editing. Here's some pipes in the bathroom that I filled. This place I did four different rooms. I did uh, their dining room so they didn't have to hear the neighbors or any plumbing going through that wall. I also soundproofed this area, which is the media room. 
I guess, bathroom, the master area. These bathrooms, the plumbing was kind of loud. And the third bathroom. All right, so here's this garage ceiling that had wood framing that I will be soundproofing in another video. I used a uh, sound and fire block insulation. And then I used a green glue compound to put on all the wood framing before I installed a 5 8 inch drywall. I did this job by myself, so I used my drywall lift. So be sure to keep an eye out for this upcoming video. And if you're looking to step up your drywall texturing or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. And if you have a friend that's a DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Check out one of these videos down below. Thanks so much for watching.